Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Stock and in this video we're talking about the summary of economic projections that came out today, so I'll be giving commentary on that. Also, what was it that Jerome Powell said about the 25 BP hike and also credit tightening? That's something that we want to talk about, especially in terms of future rate hikes and the direction of the Fed. We'll cover all that in this video. Real quick, before we get started, check out this offer from Moomoo. It's available through my link right there. It is join Dr. Stock, my link down in the description, click sign up, deposit your cash. By making that deposit of $100 or more, you get seven free stocks. Two of those are AI draws. The other five are valued for $2,000 a piece for $1,000. You get 17 free stocks, two of which are still those AI draws. The other 15 still valued up to $2,000 a piece. This offer does end at the end of March. Check out the link down in the description to take advantage of it. Thank you ahead of time for the support that you show and thank yourself for supporting yourself. Also, one more thing, check out the link down in the description for the Patreon. Click sign up. You get access to my Patreon exclusive content and access to my private Discord uh, where I post my buys, sells, and interact with me and my community members. We'd absolutely love to have you over there. So come on over. That said, I'm Dr. Stock, Doctor of Education. Let's get on to the content. All right, so here we go. Finally, we got the summary of economic projections coming out from the Fed. So here's the table that we have, and it's probably where, if there is anything of interest here, you'll find it here. GDP, they held pretty much stable. However, they dropped 2024 from 1.6 down to 1.2. So looking at 2024's number, they expect some of that weakness to bleed out over into that. And if you go over to the range, they originally had 2024 at being from 0.5 percent for the year, all up to 2.4 percent GDP for the year, which is more in line with what they have for the longer run rate here. But they have changed that to be to be down to 0.3 or down to 2.0. So uh, that change that we have, I think, is rather significant to watch for, for GDP. Unemployment, they actually have ticked down and we'll have to watch that to take place. And then uh, inflation, they actually moved both of those numbers for uh, overall PCE inflation and core inflation up. They did not change federal funds rate. They had one rate increase extra additionally sticking around for 2024. I honestly, I don't think that we're going to see those Fed funds rates stick around that high for that long. As inflation does come down, I think it's going to change these numbers. I think that they put out a report like this to say that they're staying the course, that the bank system, like to, to put a whole lot of faith into the bank system that we would that the deposits will be covered. Jerome Powell was asked point black, can we guarantee it? He avoided the word guarantee, but he said that the depositors can trust that they will be protected or that they're, I'm actually, I think he said that their funds are safe. So that doesn't mean that they're going to cover them. It's not a guarantee from it. It's only if there's deemed to be significant systemic risk. So that, that detail matters. However, the Fed is going to be absolutely on the lookout for any sort of sign of instability. So I think with this summer of economic projections, as little changed as it was, I think a lot of that was to say, hey, the bank thing isolated, no problems here. You guys are good. We're going to keep on going with what we're going. Just like I said, what happened with the 25 basis point hike that they would go ahead for it and they went for it. And that was what the CME FedWatch tool said. I think last I looked, it was almost, I think it was around 90% yesterday. And then as of today, we'll take a look at it today too. However, I think the next summer of economic projections that we get in June might tell a different story. If it's not then, then it's definitely by uh, September. It's one of those two. June, I think, is going to be a big turning point when we start to get the reports actually in July for June. I think that's going to start telling a hugely different story than we're already seeing. And I think by September, we'll really see that factored into that summary of economic projections. So if we don't hit by June, we're going to hit that by September and we're going to be telling a far different story. What Jerome Powell said about tightening credit conditions and also raising the federal funds rate, they have the same impact of reducing demand. So they don't know the full effects of the tightening that they've done so far. And now tightening credit conditions on top of it, that's kind of a double whammy. And it makes me kind of glad that I positioned myself somewhat bearish on the market, looking for that recession to happen sometime during 2023. I'm expecting Q1 earnings in April to be soft for us with even softer guidance moving forward from a lot of the companies, especially the smaller companies that are out there. And really, if they have to refinance their debt and it's going to cost them more to do it, it's going to be a lot of trouble and it's going to weigh heavily on the earnings for those companies or their ability to be profitable if they're pre-profit companies. So I think there's a lot to be concerned with here. All right, let's go over to the CME FedWatch tool and see how this really played out. So for May, the next meeting that they have, and they actually tell us up here, if you ever check it out, CME FedWatch tool, you just Google that, 
It, it'll be the first thing that comes up. They tell you the countdown, and we are just shy of 42 days. So that would be six weeks away from today's meeting. And 61% most likely we see another rate hike according to today. And this is really far out, and we saw this changes all the time. And I expect that this is also going to be volatile as we watch that happen. So most likely we get a rate hike in May. 40% chance that we stay exactly where we're at, that we take a pause in May's meeting. June's meeting, let's go to June. June, we're actually ticking backwards. So instead of being between five and five and a quarter, we're looking at 4.75 to 5% for the federal funds rate. So that could be if we do have that raise additionally in May that we pull back for June, we start cutting. And then in July, they have us down to 450 to 475. And so what I think is going to happen with that turnaround, with June's reports that happened in July, it looks like the market might also be pricing that in. And that I think is really important. And honestly, I think that the, the rate cuts are going to be aggressive between now and the end of 2023 as things continue to crack and break for us. And as we bottom out, especially if we hit a new bottom, I think that that could be the beginning of the next bull run upward. And maybe that happens 2023. Maybe that happens early 2024. We're going to have to wait and see as that plays out. But especially if we hit recession, this could be a really wild recession for for us. We're just going to have to wait and see what comes out for us. But I am positioning myself that way. I got my SQQQ position. I started an SPXU position and I'll be adding to those if the market should happen to see more strength going on. The markets did close out today. Uh, the S&P and the NASDAQ were both down over a percent. I think they were near about a percent and a quarter to a percent and a half. I don't remember. I was prepping for this video. And I didn't see exactly how far they were down, uh, but they did not react totally well to this. Now, to summarize this, the summer of economic projections was not really all that informative, and I think it was designed to be not that informative. I think it was just a stay the course sort of summary with some minor modifications to say, hey, we updated it with our expectations. Honestly, I think the ex expectations probably a little bit more bleak than they're letting on, that they want to see how the banking system plays out. And Jerome Powell did say this is 12 days old. We need to give it time. We need to figure it out. And also next week, we hear from the Fed again, uh, talking about what exactly happened uh, with the investigation with SVB, for example. And, you know, that is going to be another market catalyst for us. That does happen next week. And I'll get that date for you. The SEP, not a lot really to say here, except for I think what, what they didn't say for the in the SEP itself uh, speaks volume as for the direction forward. I think they are concerned about the banking system. They don't want to spook people. They don't exactly know what their tightening done, uh, what their tightening has done. And now there's also the credit crunch on top of it. So I think that there's a lot going on. I don't think that it's good news for us, but I do think that should we see dark times in the near future throughout the rest of 2023, possibly into early 2024, that that is where that silver lining, where we start to see, you know, it's always darkest before the dawn, where we see new bottom in the markets, and then they start to just absolutely rip forward as the Fed, uh, as the Fed really has to go risk on, or I should say, as the market has to go risk on, as the as the Fed really starts to loosen up uh, financial conditions. So if you like my commentary and like to hear more of it, check out that link down in the description for the Patreon. Click sign up, get access to my Patreon exclusive content. Also, you get access to my private Discord. Be a member of the community. Come and talk with us. We'd absolutely love to have you over there. Also, don't wait on this offer for Moomoo. Moo. Click on that link down in the description. Sign up, deposit your cash, do so immediately so that way you don't miss it because you do have a limited time frame. You're supporting yourself because you're getting those free stocks. And it also does help out this channel. allows me to come here and talk with all of you on YouTube and share my thoughts and ideas. So hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. And also ring that notification bell to see anytime that my videos come out. I am Dr. Stock, Doctor of Education. We'll see you in the next video.